This comes ahead of another planned meeting with all parties involved in the negotiations. On October 1st, there, were, there was an a election, to, to, an election to nominate um, members to, to serve on the executive body of the association. All right, and that executive body that was elected was was um, instructed to meet with the president, and we we met with President Slosha on October six. All right, to 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 plan forward on on, on this requested fourteen percent raise for faculty and staff. But what happened? We had scheduled a meeting with our membership to to educate them on the outcome of this meeting with President Slosha. All right, um, we gave him uh, ample time to respond to us, and we, we also planned a meeting for October 14th, which is next Wednesday, to consult and to meet with our membership. All right? Apparently, concerned members of the membership of the association have decided that they wanted to take uh, uh, immediate action, no? And as the as the executive body, I mean, when you when you have an association and uh, you're steering and representing a number of people, you have to plan very carefully, no? So uh, that's what that's what the association was doing. We were giving ourselves ample time to get response from administration at university level, and um, and I guess faculty concerned. Concerned faculty and staff members of the association decided that the time frame was too far, far apart. No, so we had a small gathering uh, today at the Belmopan campus, and um, we had concerns being brought over, right, in respect to the 14% raise. Um, and just to clear things up, uh, uh, we had a, a 5% um, already been allocated for, for for faculty and staff a salary increase, which is in no way to be um, mistaken for what what is being requested for the 14%. So 5% was already uh, scheduled out, and faculty and staff are probably they had the um, idea that that was what administration was presented in place of the 14%, which is, which is um, not so. So I guess uh, because of the time frame and in their perspective that the association executive uh, wasn't moving as fast as they would have expect them to move, uh, they had a small gathering this morning to express how they feel their discontentment. Okay. Did that gathering disrupt classes that were scheduled for the UB Belmapan campus? To, 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 not to, not a hundred percent. We had faculty members. As I said, we had concerned faculty members and also concerned uh, staff members from the university here in Belmopan. Um, we also had um, faculty members who continued with the, the proper scheduling of classes for students. No, and and there were some students uh, who had already. Well, by the time we we met, um, some classes were were already um, over. So we had um, people who had no classes. We had. Um, faculty member who had no classes, but for other classes that happened uh, within the time frame of the, the gathering and after, classes would just, just run um, uh, with, with schedule. As previously mentioned, a meeting of the UBFSA is scheduled for next Wednesday. Barrow says that unrest at this time as regards industrial action 